Came up from Hartford this morning. The first aircraft was off a few minutes before six. Hartford did a great job. The people there were so kind, no matter what you wanted, yeah, they, they helped you out. It was wonderful. One of the most incredible mornings I think I've ever seen in, in an airplane. It was just beautiful. It was really nice. The Cubs all lined up when the sun came up, took off on the grass runway, flew into Oshkosh. Couldn't be better. Today was a mass flyout. You're supposed to follow the guy in front of you. The guy in front of me turned east. He went way the hell out of the way. Oh, the, the Cub trained a whole generation. Such an icon in the, in the airplane industry. There's just something so unique about flying a Piper Cub with the door open here. The clamshell design of the window and door allows you to fly with that open. You get a really good view of the world for aerial photography and just, just viewing, viewing the ground below. Five and a half hours of really scenic, uh, tremendous views. We wanted a Cub just because of the, um, the nostalgic value and it's my favorite airplane. It's nice to see that people are taking such good care of 65 and 70 year old aircraft. And this summer, we're flying our 1938 J3 Cub to all 48 states. First airplane I ever flew. Got to bring it into Oshkosh this year with a bunch of other Cubs, so it doesn't get any better than that. I think this is pretty much the airplane that taught the world how to fly. This was kind of cool to look down all the rows of Cubs, and, and uh, everything was Cub, Cub, Cubs. So it's pretty neat to, to honor them like they have. You know. Everybody saw these little yellow airplanes. They built lots of them. It's seat of your pants, it's uh, wind in your face, it's tailwheel. You know, I don't know how many Cubs were at the, at the first Oshkosh, but if there's, you know, been one constant through every fly-in, every air show, you know, for the last 75 years, it's been a J3. Aero TV is brought to you by Avidyne is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy-to-use avionics. And the new IFD 540 and 440 FMS GPS Navcoms set a new standard for ease of use and simplicity. As plug-and-play replacements for legacy 530 and 430 series navigators, the HyperTouch user interface of the IFD 540 and IFD 440 makes it much easier to access the information you want while reducing head down time and making flying more enjoyable. Now you have a choice, and the choice is easy, Avidyne.